Welcome, dear viewers, to this very special webinar for Rosenbauer's online product days, especially for all fans of motor vehicles and especially firefighting apparatuses. Today, we'll be talking about the firefighting vehicles that we all dreamed of driving as children, but are no less impressive today. On the contrary, with its new product line, Rosenbauer is breaking new ground in terms of dimensions and, above all, in terms of extinguishing power and pumping capacity. The name of this product line? Modular Technology, or MT for short. Its product manager, Matthias Reisinger, will tell us a little more about it in just a moment. But first, let's watch a short video about the MT. Hi, my name is Matthias Reisinger, and I'm the product manager for industrial and special vehicles at Rosenbauer. Today, I'm here to show you the new modular technology product line, MT. Let's go! From minor to major, there's no operation the MT can't handle. From tank volumes of 5,000 to 20,000 liters. From municipal emergency vehicles to firefighting giants at airports and industrial parks. The MT does it all. Its versatility is based on its modular design. This system allows our customers to configure the perfect vehicle for their specific needs. We can offer and combine equipment compartments, crew cabins, extinguishing agent tanks, and, of course, pump systems and extinguishing technology in virtually any size in the MT. Speaking of pump systems, this MT marks the first time we've installed the largest pump available from Rosenbauer. It can pump 13,000 liters from the tank per minute, as much as 20,000 liters for feeding operation. That's enough to fill up your backyard pool in just two minutes. Not bad, right? And this is our largest roof turret, the RM130. After all, we have to get rid of the water afterwards. It can handle 13,000 liters per minute and can be controlled remotely. It's like child's play, really. There's so much more I can tell you about the MT. About the new LED lighting concept, for example, or the new logic control system, or so many other things. Wow, that was very impressive. With us in our studio now is Matthias Reisinger. Let's see what else he can tell us about the new MT. Matthias, hello. Hello, Clemens. Matthias, the vehicle we just saw, that wasn't exactly the smallest in Rosenbauer's lineup, am I right? Yes, what you just saw was one of the larger, more complex MT vehicles. Let's jump right in with the most exciting question. What does the abbreviation MT actually stand for? Modular technology or multi-talented? I'd say both. MT stands for modular technology, and modular technology, in turn, stands for the modular body concept of this line of vehicles, which is the MT's trademark. With the body concept, Customers may customize a vehicle by choosing from several modules and thus tailor it to their specific needs. Four basic modules are available. In addition to the pump compartment module, the tank module, and the equipment compartment module, there is also a crew cabin module. The length of the equipment compartment and the tank can be varied in 100 mm intervals, depending on the amount of equipment and extinguishing agent. The size of the pump compartment depends on the size and configuration of the pump system and the foam proportioning system. The crew cabin is also available in several lengths, depending on the crew size. The base of the entire system is an intermediate frame between the chassis and the firefighting superstructure, which allows the superstructure modules to be positioned in a flexible way. The superstructure concept was developed from scratch optimized to meet the needs of various fire departments, and the manufacturing processes and joining technologies were brought up to the latest standards. In addition to the integration of many functions in the superstructure, it is above all the lighting concept that can be considered groundbreaking. But how to categorize the new MT in Rosenbauer's vehicle portfolio? 
As the big brother of the CT and AT, the MT extends the product range considerably by covering everything over 18 tons. The firefighting vehicles in the MT product line are thus available not only on two axle, but also on three and four axle series chassis with a total weight of up to 40 tons and more. These vehicles can move tank capacities of up to 20,000 liters of extinguishing agent. Another unique feature of the MT is that the entire product range of Rosenbauer extinguishing technology can be integrated in it. As different as their characteristics and technical details are, the appearances of the CT, AT, and MT are very similar, which, after all, is often the case with siblings. Their similarities are found above all in the lighting and operational features. The exact same version of these features are available in the MT as in the other vehicles. And also the user interface is designed exactly the same. If you want to learn more about the MT's little siblings, I recommend watching some of my colleagues' webinars. But of course, only after you've finished watching mine. Rosenbauer looks back on a long history of experience in the field of modular construction. We've been dealing with such vehicle concepts for more than 20 years. The first vehicle of the MBW series, later the CBS series, was presented back in 2000. With this concept, we made the leap from individual welded framework structures for vehicles to prefabricated sheet metal modules. In addition to the necessary flexibility, this also brought a considerable reduction in lead times. Since the body concept had such an all-purpose design, it soon found its way into airports and industrial parks as well. Over time, the CBS modular system kept being expanded, adding many new components. In these 20 years, more than 4,500 vehicles have been sold worldwide. These are in use in more than 100 countries around the world. As this map shows, our goal is to continue to support fire departments worldwide with the MT and to expand our distribution even further. Like its predecessor, the CBS, the MT will not only be produced at Rosenbauer's corporate headquarters in Leonding, but will also gradually find its way to Rosenbauer Group sites in Spain, Slovenia, Saudi Arabia, and Singapore. However, some partner companies will also have the option of ordering the MT as a semi or complete knockdown kit and assembling it on site. In total, at least 300 MT vehicles can be produced each year. But how did the new MT product line come about? We started developing the product on the basis of 20 years of experience, a ton of feedback from customers and the service department, but also many of our employees' ideas and suggestions for improvement were used. After all, some of our employees are firefighters themselves. Cross-standardization with the other products also presented a particular challenge. Under the banner of one face to the customer, our goal was to design the MT similarly to other Rosenbauer vehicles, using as many identical features as possible, even though the vehicles in the MT product line are much larger than the others. These requirements were all reconciled by our development department and translated into a great new vehicle concept. The next step was to build prototypes to put them through their paces. This was done, among other things, with extensive driving tests on our test track. This picture shows a vehicle washboarding on our test track. Let me show you a short video of test drives with another MT vehicle.
Okay, now we've seen the MT in action. Matthias, I've heard that there's also the possibility of taking some Rosenbauer vehicles on a virtual test drive. What can you tell us about that? Oh, I'd love to. I'm a big fan of virtual vehicles. They remind me of the time I spent in the engineering department myself. Using this model, I would like to show and explain some of the features and characteristics of the MT. Let me start at the vehicle's rear. As you can see, the MT has a straight body contour. This ensures maximum loading and tank volume. This pump is an N130, specially designed for larger tanks and industrial firefighting vehicles. It can handle up to 13,000 liters per minute in tank suction mode and up to 20,000 liters per minute in feed mode. The smaller pump systems, such as the N45 and below, are absolutely identical in construction to those of the AT and CT. This means that pump systems with capacities of 2,000 to 13,000 liters per minute can be installed in MT vehicles. These pump systems can be combined with different around-the-pump foam proportioning systems, such as the FixMix 2.0 or Foamatic, and different direct injection foam proportioning systems, such as Variomatic or Hydromatic, as well as CAFS or compressed air foam systems. The extinguishing agent tanks can hold volumes between 5,000 or 20,000 liters. These can be designed as pure water tanks, as pure foam tanks, or as combined tanks. The extinguishing agent tanks are made of polypropylene and are therefore also suitable for the transport of drinking water. Let's take another look at the Rosenbauer crew cabin, the Pro Cab. It can be placed either directly behind the driver's cabin or, as we see here, in the middle of the vehicle. Depending on the length of the crew cabin, up to seven seats including SCBA holders can be installed. As an access solution, the rotating staircase known from the AT is also available. This was only a quick glance at the virtual model of the MT vehicle. Please feel free to spend more time exploring the vehicle yourself after the webinar. Let's look at a few more features and highlights of the new MT. First, the turrets. Again, the full range of turrets are compatible with the MT. They can be controlled either manually, by joystick from the cab, or by remote control. Here you see the two smaller models, the RM15 on the bumper and the RM35 on the roof. However, the range goes all the way to the largest turret, the RM130. All turrets can be equipped for foam or chemcore operation. One of the MT's absolute highlights is the lighting concept. Newly developed LED strips are used for glare-free illumination of the equipment compartments, the roof, and the crew cabin. Powerful LED flashing lights are installed above the driver's cab and on the superstructure roof. A colored LED light strip that flashes, along with other flashing lights, can be integrated into the roof gallery across the entire length of the superstructure. This ensures even greater visibility when driving to and from the scene of an emergency. The new exclusive Rosenbauer taillights also ensure better visibility in road traffic. Another new feature is the homogeneous and glare-free close-range and long-range scene lighting in the roof gallery. Here, high-performance LED strips along the entire length of the vehicle provide illumination in a radius of up to 25 meters around the vehicle. As shown here in this picture, the long-range and close-range illumination can be switched on separately and also on just one side of the vehicle if necessary. This picture shows the illumination of up to 25 meters with the long-range scene lighting. So, where can we use the MT? Well, here is why the MT is a true multi-talent. On the one hand, the MT municipal model is used in the municipal sector. It is a large tank fire truck with tank capacity of more than 5,000 liters and, as such, is also exporting to other countries as the municipal fire truck. On the other hand, the MT industrial model is used in industrial contexts. This model is characterized by large pumping systems capable of feeding from the hydrant network as well as automatic foam proportioning systems, large extinguishing agent tanks, and large water turrets.
Last but not least, the MT can also be used in airports as the MT Airport Buffalo model. This gives us the opportunity to mount an ARFF on a standard production chassis. With the MT Airport Buffalo, features such as off-road capability, pump and roll operation, and acceleration are incredibly important. As varied as the applications of the MT may be, its handling is always simple, intuitive, and the same. The latest generation of the logic control system makes this possible. Which means that the MT, whether it's the municipal, the industrial, or the airport model, can be operated the same way as the CT and the AT. If you want, you can find out more about the logic control system in my colleague Severin V. Smuller's webinar, where he explains many of the LCS's exciting features in detail. Okay, Matthias, now I know why the MT is called the MT, because of its modular and extremely flexible design. But I've also learned much, much more. Let's see if I can quickly recap all the important facts. As a customer, I can choose between two, three, and four axle chassis. I am extremely flexible when it comes to extinguishing technology. I can get huge tanks, huge pumps, huge turrets, and all kinds of admixing systems, and so on and so forth. The vehicle body basically leaves nothing to be desired and offers high loading volumes. In addition, it has the full LED package, and thanks to LCS, the MT can be operated like all other Rosenbauer vehicles. Did I remember everything? Almost. The MT can be used in the municipal and the industrial sector as well as at airports. That's right. Thank you, Matthias, for reminding me. Matthias, many thanks to you for your presentation and to you, dear viewers, for watching. More information about the MT is available at Rosenbauer.com. The 3D model can be viewed below the webinar, and our experts are now available in the chat room if you have any further questions. Until next time, goodbye. See you soon.